name is Marlene. I'm currently a student and also an amateur photographer who mainly shoots film. And today you can join me on a photo walk where I will be trying expired film for the first time. This is already the eighth episode of my series Red My Frame Photo Walks where I take you with me on my regular photo walks, giving you a glimpse into my thought and work process while I'm out taking pictures and also talking about the outcomes afterwards. So if that sounds interesting to you, I have a whole playlist on my channel where I have all the past episodes. And if you want to see even more of my photography, my Instagram and also my website are both linked down in the description. I decided that today is a good day to actually go to Coney Island, as you may see in the background, and that it would also be a fitting place to try out the expired film stock that I have. I've been actually wanting to try expired film for a while, but it's just so expensive for no reason that it was always really unattractive to me. And simply because of the fact that you never know how the photos actually turn out in the end, I just did not want to spend the money on it. But when I bought my Canon A1, which we are also shooting with today, together with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens, I also received some old unused expired film rolls that I saved until today. I did actually have a few different film stocks to choose from, but since we are in Coney Island today and when I'm here my favorite film stock to shoot with is Kodak Color Plus 200. So I decided to go with a similar expired film stock that I had. I chose to go with the film stock Kodak Color VR 400 and I actually did a little bit of research. Apparently this film stock is a variant of Kodak Farbwelt which is a film that was made for EU stores and funny enough I also have a expired roll of Farbwelt at home in my fridge. I actually couldn't find out the exact year that this film stock was discontinued but I'm guessing it's somewhere in the late 80s based on the research that I did but if you do know when it actually was discontinued feel free to comment uh, because I would definitely love to know. This role expired in 2012, August in 2012. So that's about 12 years ago now. And because of that, we need to overexpose the whole roll that we're gonna ship today, which means we're gonna pull by one stop. What I'm talking about here, if you don't know what pushing and pulling film is, basically when pulling film instead of the recommended box speed, which here would be 400, you would shoot the film with an in-camera setting of 200. Because for expired film, it is apparently the rule to pull one stop for each decade that it has been expired. And this is 12 years, so it is roughly a decade. And this is basically to compensate for the loss of exposure receptivity. I'm really excited on how this scan is actually going to turn out. And if we will get some major color shifts, because that is what I have heard and seen uh, expired film often usually has. One thing that I don't know is how this film was stored um, because I, I bought it used the guy didn't know anything about film he just stole someone else's collection so I don't know how the guy who owned it before me stored it if it was in a cold place or if it was warm because I usually store my film in the fridge which is really better. Since I had it I always stored it in the fridge but that is just something that can also affect the life and the health of the film itself and with that also the final outcomes. As you can see, to my luck, the film actually turned out great and all of the pictures that I took that day came out fine. The film itself had a really nice color to it, almost pastel looking. And you will actually see this throughout the video, but I think that especially the sky came out really nice. But I was also blessed with a completely blue sky on that day, so that makes sense. The weather today is actually so perfect. I mean, we have clear blue skies no clouds like I'm talking no clouds the Sun is out really good conditions so I'm actually really excited it's not too busy yet but I think this is actually the last weekend that Luna Park is also in season because they had the winter fest thingy and this is now over I mean it's ending on like the 7th today is the 5th but the next few days it's gonna be rainy and snowy and stormy.
There is a really interesting looking light flare in this photo and I do have quite a lot of light flares in my photos in general because I usually don't use a lens cap and that is mainly because I usually have a skylight filter on and I'm not really able to put a lens cap onto that but usually I do like the look that lens flares create. I don't really like this composition. When I saw this scene, I was like, ooh, that can be interesting. But I don't know. I feel like in a way it's nice, but I also don't think so. I feel like there's just too much going on, especially in the background. And I don't know. I'm just unsure about this one. Though I do really like this one because when I saw this fence, I was like, okay, let's do a little framing situation here. Let's do a little framing composition of the tower so i did that and it's probably one of my favorite photos from that day i really love that the sky that day was like totally blue because in many of my photos this actually creates quite a contrast for foreground and background which i absolutely love and I also feel like it gives my photos a certain sense of simplicity. What I did notice was different to not expired film with this one is that a lot of the photos actually have a lot more grain and they're also kind of faded out a little. Especially, I feel like the contrast kind of got lost. And that's also partially why the photos feel very pastel. I don't mind film grain at all. I, I love grain. I mean, who doesn't? But it's just something that I noticed was different for expired film. Or, well, the one I had. This is another example where I meant that it's kind of faded out. And it shouldn't necessarily be faded right because this shot should be perfectly exposed and i'm pretty sure that i did perfectly expose it so the shadows should be much darker the contrast should be higher but it's not which i guess it's because of the age of the film Since Coney is kind of dead around that time of year, my focus for photography was much more on structures and actually less on people this time. So I started playing around a little more with geometric focused compositions, like this one next to the carousel. I think that this photo has a really mid-century vibe to it. I don't know why, maybe it's the building structure, maybe it's the old sign. And I also feel like it could be a poster for like maybe a movie or just a poster in general. Maybe you already noticed that in a few photos I have these imperfections that almost look like light leaks, which I'm pretty sure can't really be. So I suppose it is because the film was expired. This picture specifically was not taken against the light, like towards the sun and the sun was like on the right, but it shouldn't have interfered even if I don't have a lens cap on, so I'm pretty sure that this is an outcome that was based on the film itself. And in many other photos, there are usually 
these red leaks, let's call them red leaks, and they're usually on like the sides, so the frame of the photo. The sun today is actually sometimes so bright that I have to compensate with my shutter speed. I usually go with a shutter speed of 1 in 25 um, because it's like the usual that I do with street photography. And in my last video where I actually talked about my street photo settings, you're welcome to check that out, I mentioned that I usually shoot with 1 in 25. But today I actually, one time I also went to like a thousand, but that was because the water had like heavy reflections and it was like really bright. But today I actually took a lot of photos with a shutter speed of 250. There were a lot of Russian ladies on the boardwalk when I was there. I think because there is a Russian neighborhood nearby, um, but I'm not exactly sure. But I love how they dress, I love their coats and like their fur hats, I mean I have one of those myself. And mainly I was kind of too shy to photograph them because I did not want to disturb them on their Friday afternoon walk. But I took a picture of this lady, which especially caught my eye because she kind of had like red sunglasses and red hair and she just looked really cool. This photo is probably the strongest example that I have of the red leaks on the side. And that was the 8th episode of Frame by Frame Photo Walks. Let me know what you think of the final images. And if you have any experience of shooting film yourself, or maybe you want to try it too. If you want to check out more of my photography, my website and my Instagram are all linked in the description. So you can check them out if you'd like. Enjoy the last frames and we will hopefully see each other again on the next vlog. Bye!